covert narcissists lack the ability to genuinely connect with people. The aloofness and evasiveness they display only serves as a defense tactic to keep people away. Covert narcissists narrowly focus on self-absorbing work, social media, small cliques, fantasies, and other endeavors to minimize wider human interactions. These activities may also help them to enact their covert, self-important personas. Covert narcissists construct a superficial belief that they're often the misunderstood special person. This creates a reassuring role, submerging the fearful and vulnerable true self. Covert narcissists are highly sensitive to any or real perceived slights. They respond by sudden and sullen withdrawal. They will not let on how much the negative experience bothers them and instead use a well-rehearsed aloofness and evasiveness to continue their scheme. Covert narcissists are highly passive-aggressive. Upon receiving a reasonable request from you, they agree then either do nothing or behave however they please. When inquired why they didn't follow through on the arrangement, they tend to disregard it with an excuse. Covert narcissists lack empathy. They are oblivious to or dismissive of others' thoughts or feelings. When confronted of how their behavior is hurtful, their response will always be about themselves. Such is the self-absorption one of the most common traits of the covert narcissist is a sense of withdrawn self-centeredness. They tend to be poor listeners and mentally tune individuals out. Often, they will make a quick assessment of a person or situation, find it uninteresting, flawed, or unworthy of their attention. Covert narcissists tend to focus on only what they selfishly want and find agreeable. They tend to observe judgmentally rather than act, and listen half-heartedly rather than speak. Their quieter brand of superiority complex betrays itself through aloof detachment and disconcerning non-verbal cues. They tend to not express their negativity outright, but you get the distinct sense that they are barely tolerant with their lack of eye contact, condescending glare, eye rolling, dismissive gestures, groans and sighs, high distractibility, quick boredom and overall inattentiveness. When they do speak, their comments tend to be critical and judgmental. This impenetrable smugness is, of course, a front covering a sense of vulnerability from within. Part of the insecurity is the inability to relate to people meaningfully as human beings. Covert narcissists will not share their negative opinion of you. When you express your own opinions, they often remain quiet and withdrawn, hiding their extreme contempt of you and your behavior. Because they lack the ability to share their opinions and communicate, you often have misperception that they agree with you. They withhold information but often talk behind your back, sharing their negative opinions of you with others and create smear campaigns to assassinate your character. This creates the illusion of a covert narcissist being shy and reserved while in your presence. They reveal their true feelings to others in order to create flying monkeys. Flying monkeys are people who act on behalf of the covert narcissist to a third party for an abusive purpose. They can be anyone who believes the covert narcissist's fake persona and are usually unwittingly manipulated. People who believe the smears about the victim, these people are manipulated by the covert narcissist to side with the abuser. The flying monkey does the narc's bidding. 
to inflict additional torment on their target. It may consist of spying, spreading gossip, threatening, or painting the narcissist as the victim and the target as the perpetuator. Covert narcissists are known to be manipulative in a charming way, entrapping their victims through a facade of understanding, suspending the victim's self-protective behavior, gaining trust while the victim lowers their personal boundaries. Covert narcissists have little curiosity of you. They sit in quiet judgment and tend not to validate your feelings or the need to talk when trying to resolve issues. They lack the ability to provide emotional support. They use silence and evasiveness to mask their contempt of you. They do this to exert superiority over you, leaving you confused of where you stand with them. Covert narcissists are wolves in sheep's clothing. They are deceptive, underhanded, and act behind the scenes. Covert narcissists know that by displaying their true self will get in the way of achieving the power and control over their victims. They need to fuel their ego. They're in constant worry about their lies being exposed. They put up emotional barriers and suppress their feelings and true self while hiding behind a false identity. They don't feel guilty or shame hurting others who get too close. They're still very conscious of their behavior and actions while they tend to project and blame others if you call out their behaviors. Covert narcissists tend to hurt and abuse people who are closest to them. Covert narcissists have the ability to make their victims feel guilty, even when their target of abuse is innocent. They lack empathy and are masters of manipulation. They lack the ability to form intimate relationships or the ability to feel remorse. Covert narcissists often move from relationship to relationship very fast because they don't like to be alone. In need of constant attention, they gravitate towards dangerous hobbies or extreme sports to make them feel alive. A covert narcissist will often paint their childhood and upbringing in a perfect light, while in reality, it's their childhood upbringing that contributed to them becoming a covert narcissist. They want and need people to mirror them. They need their victims to reflect the false image that they have of themselves, not wanting to face the reality of who they really are. What they do and how cruel they are, it doesn't matter. They don't want to acknowledge the anger and rage that exists inside of themselves. Seeing people as objects, they seek out victims and use them as pawns in their quest for attention, praise, and admiration while giving little to none to their victims. Once the victim is deemed unuseful or they get challenged by the victim about who they really are, they feed off their victim. They will discard the victim without warning, remorse or regret, leaving the victim confused, feeling like they never existed. They will often then play the victim themselves and shift the blame to their target. Covert narcissists will then move on to form another fake bond with a person. Use them like they did the previous victim as a new supply for their diabolical self-centered ego. They feed off their victim's confusion and pain, getting enjoyment at seeing their old supply in despair. The victim is left in a state of confusion with questions unanswered and feelings unvalidated. The covert narcissist uses the silent treatment to punish the old supply for daring to hold them accountable for their behavior, excuses, and lies. A covert narcissist can target anyone, including strong and independent people, but their favorite source of supply is most often highly sensitive, empathetic, and caring people with low self-esteem. These victims will usually be carrying over childhood injuries themselves, and have difficulty establishing personal boundaries. The covert narcissist lacks the ability to listen or understand their supply. Instead of listening to the other person and caring about what they have to say, they data collect. They use that data then against their victim at a later time. 
they discard their victim as soon as they start asking questions about their behavior. A covert narcissist has the ability to fool and deceive their victim into believing they care about them and share a bond. Once the covert narcissist gets bored and drains the victim of confidence, they fill the victim's emptiness and void with self-doubt and confusion. Covert narcissist's purpose for discarding their victims is usually done when the supply starts questioning their behavior. They discard to create a sense of shock and confusion. The old supply will then ask why they were discarded. While the covert narcissist will use this period to punish you with the silent treatment and feed their twisted diabolical ego as they watch their old supply plead and beg them for answers. The victim is left wondering what they did wrong, eventually coming to the conclusion that the person that they were talking to and trusted never existed. The covert narcissist will continue to repeat this cycle as they form multiple fake relationships with victims and leave a trail of corpses behind them. <laughs>